All right, March 18th, uh, 2021, day 12. This is Intermediate 3 uh, from 9 to 10 p.m. And today we're going to be giving Unit 5, uh, Conditional Sentences. So it's only four more classes left next week. Um, this is the third week, class 12. We just wait for our students. Hey, hey, Joel, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm pretty good. What about you? How I'm are doing, you? I'm doing good. Yeah. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hey, hey, we have a new student here. I don't know who it is. You only put up the phone number, not the not the name. Uh huh. So who is it? Who do you think that is, Joel? I have no idea. Me either. I don't know. And 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 disappear. Uh huh. Only she or he disappear. I think it's he. I think it's he. Uh huh. Maybe we'll know it in some minutes. I'm sure, I'm sure we will. So, 74886239, who are you? Let me see. I think it, I think it's um, Nuria. Nuria? No, maybe. Mm. Checking, I'm checking the WhatsApp group. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's a good way. That's a good the, way to, to put it up. Mm -hmm. to, to know, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Sylvia, how are you? How are you, teacher? Good night. Ah, good evening. Remember, Sylvia, good evening. Good evening. Uh -huh. Yeah. How was your day, Silvia? Excuse me? How was your day? Very, very tired. <laughs> Ooh, why? Uh, uh, there are uh, mucho trabajo. <laughs> uh -huh. How do you say it? How do you say so trabajo? much work? Ah, uh -huh, Silvia, so much my, work. My son, él sí sabe. Ah, uh -huh. How do you say él? Excuse me? How do you say él? How do you say to you, sí. Sylvia, not to him. You are the one in the class. <laughs> Don't ask him. <laughs> uh -huh. Imagine it. Nah, Sylvia. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Can we allow the class? No. ¿Qué? ¿Qué, qué tengo que presentar? ¿Qué? No, no, nah, Sylvia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es que le entiende y yo no. It's... Yo qué? Uh -huh. Pero por eso, por oh, estar dependiente de él, por eso no entiende. No, si es que es primera vez que lo tengo cerca. Ay, no Silvia, la... ay, Silvia. Ahora está ahí haciendo tareas. 
Ah, o sea, ya entendiste, Joel, que, o sea, que tú yeah. las, las tres semanas no me entendió, pero ahí. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, what happened, Silvia? What happened? <laughs> Ah, ya me dio calor. Sí. <laughs> hey, teacher, the number disappeared. I am ready. The number disappeared, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm glad you are ready for the class. Joel is ready for the class too. Great? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So today we're going to take a look at the class. We're going to learn what are conditional sentences. That's going to be our topic, okay? So our topic is going to be, I'll, I'll put it into the chat. Okay, conditional sentences. And what are conditional sentences? Well, really, uh, you can think of conditional sentence as an idea that we have when we're thinking about cause and effect. Okay, so the cause, when we have conditional sentences, we usually have a sentence, for example, if I, okay, and then a statement, oops. Okay, and then usually we have the effect, okay, or the answer is I would something else. So, okay. We can have a statement as an example. If I found, okay, um, some money, let's say one, one thousand dollars, okay. If I found one thousand dollars, oof, wow, this is this is what you imagine. What do you do if you found this money? Ah, so if I found a thousand dollars, maybe I would uh, I would go shopping. Right? So if we make it into a complete sentence, we would have the two parts together, okay? How would it be the two parts? Well, the first part is with the if, okay? So that would be if I found one moment, $1,000, comma, I would go shopping, okay? So, that would give us our complete structure for a conditional sentence. And like I said, the idea of conditional sentence is more like a cause and effect. If this happens, then this is the consequence. If I do this, then the next is this. To help us understand a little bit about conditional sentences, we're gonna watch a small video about what conditional sentences are and how we can use them. We can see them in context, okay? So let me share my screen with you. Oops, there we go. Okay, so let's watch a little bit and then I will explain it to you. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Okay. The part we're going to take a look at is that condition. What the condition is that here we're talking about the money, and we can see that the condition is if I found $750,000. Then if this happens, what is the effect? Or what would you do? Ah, she, in the case of Pat, she says, I wouldn't return it so fast, okay? And then if we see, she says, I would, or in the contraction, 
I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. This is the idea of conditionals. We are imagining what we do in these situations or what could happen in these situations. And we have many different forms that we can use it. Um, as we can see here, we use a negative form. I wouldn't return it. But also she uses a positive form. I would go straight to the mall. Okay. So all of these are for, this is what is conditional. You start or you use the if in the sentence to say, uh, I imagine this situation or, or if this could happen, then the effect, okay? What would happen next? Now let's listen to the second part of the interview or the second part of the conversation and answer the question. Listen to the second part and answer the question. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. All right, so what would Phil do if he found $750,000? What did he say? Do you want to listen one more time? I listen to you, teacher. You listen one more time or no? Yes, teacher, one more time, please. Okay. Let's listen one more time. Remember, the question is, what would Phil do if he found $750,000? What would he do? You've got a point there. Listen to the rest. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So... What would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. Okay. One more time. One more time. Okay, one more time. One more time. You've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. So tell me. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? Uh, 
he said that he would take the money straight to the police station. Correct, Joel. Very good, Joel. Good comprehension. That's what he said. He said he would take the money straight to the police. He's very honest. And for him, he takes it directly to the police. Okay. So that's the yeah. idea. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, I thought somebody had a question or a comment. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the idea of the conditionals is we are imagining, we are thinking about, oh, this, if this situation happens or uh, if this happened to us, what we could do. Okay. Now we're going to go on and we're going to see a little bit more about a little bit more information about conditional sentences. Okay. So here's another video to give us some more examples and more information about the conditional sentences. $50,000, I'd go straight to the... Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, <laughs> I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if, plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might, plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in our discussion box. Okay. So, when the if clause is at the end, the an important grammar tip is here. The grammar tip is that when we use if at the beginning of a sentence, it's an obligation to use a comma. If we use the if clause at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. So a comma is necessary when we begin the structure with if. When we begin the structures with something else, like I would or I could or something different, and we use if at the end, then we do not use the comma. The important is that we understand that is for a situation that we imagine, what would be the cause and the effect or what would happen in those situations. Are there any questions about the conditionals of in this moment?
No questions, teacher. Okay. Well, let me explain what we're going to do. Well, we're going to do a couple of things. First, we're going to do here in 5.1. Let me put it down just a little bit. Okay. We're going to practice this conversation with our partners. So with our partners, one is going to be Phil and one is going to be Pat. And then we're going to switch roles. So the first thing is we want to practice that conversation. I'm going to take a picture and put it into the WhatsApp just in case you don't have access on the computer or you can't share, okay? That's the first one, okay? Then after this one, okay, here is we have the idea, I think, it's clear for The use of comma is mandatory. One moment. Let me put here. Okay. Here's the other part is how we use it. Okay. If you notice, it's not only necessary would. We can use other situations. What is the difference in meaning? Well, would means this is my decision. This is I decide I would go straight to the mall. This is my decision. I could is an option. I could do this or I could do something else. These are the po these are the different options that I have. And might is a possibility. It's like maybe I might do this. I might do that. That is for the one more time, like the maybe. So would or wouldn't is the decision. Could, okay, is the possibility. And might, or sorry, could is, sorry, could is the options that you have, right? Uh, I could buy something or I could do something else. And might is like a maybe, is when you say, ah, maybe I'll do this. That's the idea of might. So we're going to practice the conversation one more time. The conversation from 5.1, it's in our WhatsApp. Then we're going to use that information that we learned in 5.3 and we're going to complete these sentences. Now, these sentences are conversations. For example, here, if you see, we have a number one and then a number two down here, but we have A and B. So number one has a small conversation. Number two has a small conversation. The same for number three and number four. So these are little conversations they have. So we need to do two exercises. Practice the conversation first, 5.1, then complete 5.4, okay? When we finish 5.4, then we're going to practice with our oral practice. The oral practice is making questions to our partners. How do we make questions? In the chat, we can see that I'm putting right now, uh, okay? We can put, as an example, what would you do if you had three months vacation? What would you do if you found money? What would you do if uh, you, uh, you got the vaccine? Okay. What would you do if that's whatever questions for this? The third activity is where we ask and answer our partners. Remember in this part, what would you do if, okay, we use the past tense, the past tense. What would you do if you found, okay, uh, if you ate, if you went, if you saw, we use the past tense. And the same for the answer, okay? In the answers is if I, okay, and then something in the past. If I saw, if I ate, if I ate, I would, I could, or I might. That is your decision. Any questions on the, our three activities that we're going to do right now with our partners? Okay, let's make sure that everybody understands. Activity number one, what's the first activity? We are going to practice the conversation or the, or the dialogue teacher. Excellent, that is the first activity, great. What is the second activity? Complete the platform. Correct, complete the platform 5.4, excellent. And the last activity, what is the last activity we're going to do today? Practice. 
Exactly. And that last when after we do the platform, then we have an idea how to ask and answer our partners the questions. Okay. Um, all right. If there are no questions, let's make some groups and let's get to work. How are you? I'm fine too. Thank you. I'm going to share the share? presentation. Yes, I'm Could going you to share? do it right now. Okay, thank you. Someone is sharing sharing it right now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's me. Sorry. Okay. Uh, this is a, we're gonna practice this, right? Practice. Yes. Okay, if you wanna, if you wanna, I, I gonna be Phil and someone of, of, of you gonna be Pat. Okay. Do you want to be Pat? Okay, okay. Okay, we start. Look at this. Some guy found seven. Oh, they can't do what I mean. <laughs> seven thousand? Seven. No, seven hundred. No. Seven hundred fifty thousand. Uh huh. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He retorted, and the owner simply taken him with a phone call. ¿Cómo se lee esa cantidad en inglés? Seven hundred fifty thousand. Sorry, Rodrigo. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No problem. You're welcome. Seven hundred fifty thousand. Thank you, teacher. Well, look at this. Some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand. He returned it, and and the owner simply. Thank him with a phone call. You you are counting counting if I found seven hundred to to house and the order. I will yeah. I will return fifty thousand. I will return if so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I I will go straight to the mall and spend it. I call by a lot of nice clothes, clothes, and the worldly. Your jewelry or not? Yeah. Someone might also find out about about it. Well, I can see the layers very well. And then you could go to her. Um, you, you will go to yeah. her. Uh, 
Okay, so it seems we have a little problem with some pronunciation of the words. Okay, so yes. I'm going. I'm going to read it, and you listen. Don't worry. I'm going to read it all the conversation, and you listen and focus in which words for you are difficult. Um, if you want, Rodrigo, I can share my screen um, because it it looks like yes, your le you. your letters are, are a little a blurry. Yes, I understand. Thank you. No problem. Let me share my screen here. Maybe this helps a little bit. Then you can take a screenshot if you want. Okay. So here we have. Look at this. Some guy found seven hundred and fifty thousand. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found 750000 I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Okay, so first, are there any words that are not clear how to pronunciate? Well, jail, it's, it's correct. No, is the jewelry. Jewelry. The, okay, I, I want to say jail, the depression. Depression? Yes, hair, jail. No. I, I see, I see. Uh, uh, is the last one is almost correct, almost correct, Rodrigo, but is jail, jail. Jail. Mm -hmm. J. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Jail. Mm -hmm. Any other words? Uh, the última línea. Mm -hmm. El... Donde está el you? Ah, you've, you've. You. Like, you. Yes, you've. The other words are okay? I think it's good. Only, okay. only the words, I think. Okay, all right. So you can go ahead and practice again. Uh, Lisette, be careful with the words like would and could. It's necessary to pronounce the L and D. So it's would, like what would you do? Or I could buy. So those are the ones that we want to make sure that are clear. Um, when it's a contraction, like in the example of Pat, well, I'd go straight. It, I'd. Okay. okay. All right. I let you guys practice and you know, then we have the other exercises to do also. Maybe I need to answer uh, the items. For example, number one. Okay. The instruction includes this conversation by choosing the best option. Complete estas conversaciones. Use los verbos en paréntesis. Okay. Silvia, number one. The option, uh, the op option one, you have three, first, more, three first months option, to travel. Okay. Where will you go? Travel. Without S. Travel. Without S. The, uh, the only difference is the S in, in the verb. Travel, travel and travel. Or travels. Singular and um, plural. No, it's for uh, third persons. Or third person. Uh, no. Third person. Third person. La first. La primera. La first. Okay. She is. Nice. Uh, travel. RB of the first one. Oh, that's easy. I fly to Antarctica. I always went into go here. As the second one. I will fly. 
too. <laughs> okay, Silvia, number two. Part A. Doctor, do you get more exercise? Which sport? Which sport you choose? Is your doctor told you to get more exercise? Which sport was your choice? Did you doctor told you to get more exercise? Which sport your choice? Mm. Uh, yo digo que Maybe the first, first one. Mm -hmm. The first one, which is for what you choice. Okay. Part B. I'm not sure, but I go jogging two or three times a week. I'm not sure, but I might to jog in two or three times a week. I might sure. go or I go to, um, I might go, might, might go. Number three, what you do if your car break down? What would you do if your car break, broke down? What would you do your car broke down? If I I think I guess. What do you think, Sylvia? About number three, part eight. What would you do if that your car broke down? Yes. The S, the first. Okay. I think the first. If okay. I call Give me the, the part, please. If I have to. Um, what would you do if someone uh, gave you a property, a house? A house, okay. First, uh, I would like to know the location where, where the house is located. And yeah, point. It, depends of, it depends of location. I will sell it or maybe I will use it as a home. Okay, okay, nice. And Alejandro? What will you do if you win a lottery? If you won. If you win, no, no. ganara. No, no, it's in the past. Okay. Remember, if you yes. if you won. If, if you won, ah, uh, if you oh, okay, if you won a lottery. Yeah, always it is in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. If you found, yeah, that's right. Maybe I will. I will bought a PC gamer. I think. What? Uh, I will bought a PC gamer, a computer ga gamer. A computer gamer. A gamer. A gamer. Gamer computer. Creo que sí. Yes, a gamer yes, computer. Yes, yes. That's correct. A gamer computer. Yes. I don't understand, you share gamer a computer. Gaming, gaming computer. Gaming right. computer. Uh -huh. That's right. Una computadora de juegos. Um, That's... More or less, it is is for for gaming. Is for example ah. to play games like a PlayStation or it's, an Xbox, but it's a computer. It's like a high tech ah. computer. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. I never hear that before. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alejandro, when you answer is because you use would, then you use the verb in present. 
I would buy or I could, ah, okay. I could buy. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. It's the, my fault. No, no problem. It's, it's that way. That's why we practice to make sure it's clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I will re I will answer you again, right? Okay. If I won the lottery, lottery, I will buy a gaming computer. Okay, excellent. Okay, teacher, what would you do if you if you got one million dollars? Um. If I got, if I had one million dollars, I would, I would help my family. I would pay for their, their education so that they, and help them begin businesses. That way, they don't have to be in a in an office or work for someone. That way, they have their own business. And I would pay for them to have a better education because some of them only have high school. Uh, excellent. You are a good member or a good brother, a good song teacher. <laughs> <laughs> a good person in general. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we have to help, right? That's, uh, that, that's the, that, that means that's that the idea. Mean, that means that you're not selfish, right? No, yeah. no, no. I don't need, I don't need more money. I have, I have a TV, I have a house, I have the family. One million dollars, ten thousand yeah, is not going to change my life. Excellent teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Joel, uh, yeah. what would you do if you could travel for three months for free? Wow. Well, I have to answer that using in past the verb or in present teacher. No, I'm, no, no. I'm a little bit confused. You, when you say I would, you use the verb in present. So, for example. Okay. I would go, yes. I would visit. Mm -hmm. I got it. So maybe, well, definitely, I would go to Italy or, you know, Europe and spend vacations there. The three months, Joel, all three months, in, in, only in Italy. Yes. I mean, well, yeah, it could be. It's not uh, a bad place to spend <laughs> three months. No, I, th I think not, right? You have a lot of a lot of cities, a lot of a lot of different places to visit in Italy. Yes, yes, that's true. Okay, hi, right. Joel. You practice. Ask Alejandro. Ask Nuria. Yeah. Okay, uh, Nuria. Uh... The same. The answer is, I am not sure, but the, I think. I may go join two or three times a week. Yes, I got the same. Okay, what do you do if you start break down? I have, I'm not sure, but I might go jogging two or three times a week. Lisette, could you repeat the question? What do you do if you car break down? Okay, pretty good, pretty good. What would you do if your car broke down? In the question is going to be the past and in the answer is going to be the present. So what would you do if your car broke down? And then in the answer, you can say, I like Rodrigo said, I would go in the present, I would go jogging three times a week. Maybe Rodrigo goes jogging to his job, right? He goes, ha, 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 because no car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jogging, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Rodrigo. Where, mm -hmm. Yes. Well, the, the next is... If I couldn't afford to feed six, I would have it to, to, to walk everywhere. Ah, that's the that's the question from the from the book. Or, I mean from yeah. the platform. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. We are only checking. We already do it. Yes, yes. Yeah. Remember when you finish checking, 
then you are going to ask and answer your own questions. For example, you are going to say, what would you do if you could travel for, uh, for free? Uh, or where, where would you go if you could travel for free? Or um, what would you eat if you could have your favorite food? The different questions. So after you finish checking, then you ask and answer your partner your own questions. Okay, we are going to do it. All Thank right, you. you're welcome. If I could afford to fix, fix it, I would have to work everywhere. Hello, Silvia. Part A, the question. Why? I sorry, sorry. Make, make the question. But when you do it, your car broke down. If I couldn't afford to fix it, I will have to walk everywhere. <laughs> okay. Nice. I will have to walk yeah. everywhere. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's, number four. It's, it's, remember, remember. Uh, Brooke, yeah, down. Uh, the, the question in the Spanish is... Oh, the, the last one. Oh, okay. Yes. This uh, would you break into your house if you could look at yourself? Uh, no, uh, no, no. Si no. Y te the 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 oh, number three? Yes. yes. Okay. The car what broke down. Es como que se quede con llave. No. De esto pregunta que qué harías ¿Qué si tu explicar? carro se arruina si tu carro se ah. arruina ah ok o se daña broke down se daña uh -huh. y yo lo contesté y si no pudiera arreglarlo teacher uh -huh. uh, can you can you help me with with translate this se iría if I could afford, afford, I don't afford. know. Afford. Afford. Afford mm -hmm. to fix it. What mean that in Spanish? If you don't have the money to fix it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Si no, uh, I, si, no lo, si no tengo dinero para repararlo. Sería mm -hmm. caminando. Okay. Sí, me iría caminando a todas partes o a donde sea. Uh -huh. <laughs> ok. I will have to walk everywhere. Ok. Voy con okay. la cuatro. Would you break if you have, if you locate yourself? Oh. Yes, yeah, if I didn't have another key, I will ask a neighbor for help. Do you understand, Silvia? Yes. Okay. Si no tuviera la Good. llave, le pediría a su, le preguntaría a sus vecinos por ayuda. Yeah. And, and what's mean the question in Spanish? Si se quedara fuera de la casa. <laughs> bueno, eh. Entiendo que como house. que quedan las llaves en la casa y ya se queda fuera. Yeah, maybe. Teacher, can you help help us? That's right, Sylvia. That's pretty much the idea. The the idea is would you uh, would you break into your house? Is would you enter your house by with force? Would you uh, maybe break the window, uh, break the door, or something? This is break into. Is enter by force. Ah, entrar uh -huh. a la fuerza, ok. Uh -huh. Si tuvieras que entrar a la fuerza a tu casa porque está bloqueado o no, no. puedes entrar. Uh, for, ex for example, you, you left the keys inside the house or... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ya adentro, ok. Yep. Nice. Yeah. If I didn't have another key, I will ask a neighbor for help. Or maybe, uh, bro or, or maybe broke the window, no? Maybe, but, or, yeah. or... but in El Salvador, it's more difficult than the U.S. <laughs> because in the U.S., you break the window, it's no problem. 
But in El Salvador, we have the bars, we have the metal, we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we are prepared for the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah. Okay, nice. Now, you and, and Silvia, now the two of you, practice asking and answering your own questions. And you make the questions. For example, Dennis, what would you do if you could uh, travel uh, anywhere? Or Silvia, uh, what food would you eat if you could eat your favorite food? So now is you practice making your own questions and answers. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. I study... Have you studied English before? Yes, there in the university. I, as I told you guys the last month, last week, I don't remember. I studied at CENI US two years ah, in English intensive two years. course. Ah, yes, I'm waiting for the graduation right now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's an excellent, but if, that career, it sounds very interesting. I would like to study that career online because I don't have maybe. time to go to university. Well, what really? career do you study online? Uh, Modern languages. It's online, Joel. Oh, well, yes, now, well, yes, right? Because... Now, now, nowadays, due to COVID-19, yeah, online. But if COVID, COVID uh, nunca hubiera pasado, I would be presential. Um... That I don't like. I don't like to go. I, I prefer online. Maybe. Really? Love. Why? Yeah, I love. I love I, online. I hate the online stuff and being in the, in the computer and all of that. No, I, I, I like it. it. I so like much. it. I like it so much. In this moment, <laughs> in this moment, I study another career because I like really? I, Yes, in this moment, I study in business administration. Really? Okay, yes. that's great. I graduate this year. I like, I like to study online. Wow, cool. because that's... but is it but I I is for me is because of the time hole, the transportation yeah. to go to the university, the traffic, a uh, return, and that's for a good me, point. and for me I don't like I don't like the Salvadorian University because everything everything at the university el folleto el folleto yeah. el otro <laughs> la photocop and, and yeah, when that's you true. and when you study online all of their information here is the link here is the pdf but, here is the video that is there you know something i miss i miss those things los folletos <laughs> and being there no. and sleeping in the grass no. and in the time, going to the poly to run and do no, exercise no. my friends the food the choris all of for, that for me only stuff. the choris only the choris <laughs> i like I, and I miss, but the other, the sleeping in the grass that is hot in the sun and, the, uh, and, and, and then you go to the university and then the professor, oh, no, le voy a dar clases. Oh, este, ahí otro día. Oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> but I like that. Depends, teacher. <laughs> no, no, no. How, how, how old are you, Joel? I'm 22. Maybe, yes, yeah, yes, he's yeah, yeah. younger. He needs to believe all these things at the university. Yes, but yes, in that's your true, case, that's true. <laughs> if you study there, I study at university. Mm -hmm. I won't like to go there. No. But again, no, I, I won't like. Really? Yeah, yeah. No, I think we could like. do in the future. I, think I wouldn't it, like. I think it has to do with the age, Joel, because when, the, when you become older, yeah. you don't, you have you can use your time you think no 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 i can use my time better if i don't go because i don't yeah. have transportation i don't have to work traffic or sometimes it, for example nuria has children i have children or and you think oh yeah when they go to sleep i can study but ah, in this moment eh, yeah. you, you don't have priority big... changes right yeah 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 it's for the changes when... yeah mm -hmm. but... i used to spend the whole day in the university yeah. Uh, from <laughs> from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and I love to be there. Nah, nah. Even if I don't, I if even if I didn't have classes. Only <laughs> nah, hijo del... no, 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 no. It's normal. It's normal for it's the normal, right? people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's true. It's true. Hanging out with my friends. Yeah, it's true because when I was younger, when I was uh, uh, 18, 19, uh, even 20s. I love to go to university because in the university is where you see everyone. 
It is the place yeah. where you, in the place where you meet and you organize and you talk and you laugh and you. My social life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And But here in my house, life. I just yeah. talk to the walls. Uh huh. That's the problem. That's that's the most difficult. But later, uh, you have so many things to do. So many things to do that you are tired than when you are than you than when you are younger. Yeah. 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 And that's why you say, no, 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 I don't have any time to waste. I need my day is organized, this, 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 mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's different. Mm -hmm. It's different, it's different, but enjoy. But enjoy, Joel. In this moment, enjoy, because later you're going to say, I know, I, I spent all my time in university and I could advance, I could have a, a job, I could make money, I could do the, you have yeah. many, <laughs> many ideas later. <laughs> okay yeah. i sleep on it yeah 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 <laughs> but in this moment nah continue enjoying the life yeah yeah enjoy it okay rodrigo lisa any questions i i think it's good Thank you. Okay. Yes. Let's try some examples to make sure that it's clear. Um, let me listen. Rodrigo, ask Lisette a question, and Lisette, you answer. What would you do if you found a computer on some place, a university or, or job? Yes. Okay. okay, Rodrigo, I think for you, oh, there's Lisa. I think there's Lisa. Okay. Yes. Well, I could learn. I could learn in the High school? Oh. No sé cómo se dice como en la como en la básica. No sé. La básica. 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 básica o sea, qué? Él me preguntó que cuando aprendí a usar la computadora. No. Pues, no. No. ¿Fue en la universidad o fue en el trabajo? No. No. No, no. Él te preguntó qué hicieras si encontraras una computadora en la universidad o el trabajo en algún lugar así. Ah. I. I could. I could report you at the office, pol office policy. The police office. Okay, so so we only need to practice a little bit more. Um, the question is good, and only that we need to practice a little bit more the answers. But let's yes, go. Thank you. Yeah, let's go back and see. Okay. Uh, any questions? Any anybody have any questions or comments? I don't have any question, teacher. I don't have any question. Too. It's fine. It's okay, fine. teacher. Okay, great. Uh, remember, uh, we we need to practice a little bit more. But the idea is that you imagine the situation. So is not real. We are thinking about ah, the possibilities. Uh, the important is when you use would is what would you do, okay? If, and when we have the word, if uh, we use the past tense, if you found money, if you saw uh, a, a monster, if you went to Spain, okay? And then in the answer is I would, 
I could, I might. What is the difference? The would is the decision. This is my decision, I would. Uh, the possibility, I could, okay? I could is one possibility. I could uh, buy a computer. I could save the money. I could pay the debts. This is could. I might, this is not, a, this is the, the idea for maybe, maybe I do this, maybe I do that. I'm not sure. This is, uh, you are thinking oh, no. about the situation. Yeah. Okay. Now, on, we are going to continue on Monday, but please complete and work in the platform because already we finished four units, four units. And really, we only have three days because Thursday, the last day, is not that you have more days to do the platform. No, the platform has to be complete next week by before Thursday. So this weekend, if you're not complete, ha, it's time to work in the platform. And if you are complete, poof, the good life, relax, drink, watch movies. I do it. <laughs> Excellent, Dennis. Congratulations. Watch movies. In yeah. English, with subtitle in English, too. Well, exactly, exactly. Watch movies <laughs> with subtitles in English. Uh huh. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, it helps. Yeah, it helps. It helps. And remember, tomorrow is the is the new series. The new to, tomorrow is the new series with the Falcon and the uh, what is it? The uh, El Soldado del Invierno. It to, is uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The new TV show, I will, I will see it. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If so, if you like Marvel, if you like Captain America, tomorrow mm -hmm. is a good day to watch TV. Yeah, Always. my favorite hero okay. is Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, Wolverine is good too. Yeah. Wolverine is good too. Yeah. I, I was watching Wanda so ah. with a go, yes. Okay, but. For all of the, the new Marvel, for me, the favorite is Thundercats. Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats. Oh. I love the Thundercats too. You, you, yes. all did, you all did watch the, the Boys in Amazon Prime? The Boys? The Boys. This is the singing, the singing competition. No, the Boys. Uh, oh, the B Boys, the Boys. Yeah, no, 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 no. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the Boys. Yeah, it's, but they say it's good. They say it's good. It's really gore. Ah, maybe it's necessary to watch. It's, it's about a superhero, <laughs> but with serious problems, man. <laughs> maybe it's good to watch. It's night yeah. good. Yes, yeah. I, I saw it last night. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I think the best hero in the war is Goku. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Well, enjoy your weekend. Please complete uh, the platform and work because only four classes and that's it. And complete okay. the documents okay. to send for the next level. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Have a good night. See you. Have a good have weekend. Good night. See you. Good night, guys. You too. Well, Thank you. Good bye, night. bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, guys. See you next week. See you next week. <laughs>